be sharp pictures on me host touching and today's video is a new trend stars. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to be notified about the new video first. So without further ado, let's get started. In this video we are going to learn about stars and their introduction, stages of stars, how are neutron stars formed, what's their importance and what happens to them when they die. What are stars? Well in simple terms they are flaming hot balls of helium and hydrogen. We will have an in-depth video on stars in the future. Now how are stars formed? Stars are formed when there is enough pressure for gas clouds to fuse atoms together within a blink of an eye. This creates something called a protostar. Protostar eventually becomes a star. Now let me give you a bit more details on stars in general so that we can understand more about neutron stars. Now let me give you more info on stars than our sun. Stars are very dense, their mass can be up to 1000 times of our sun's mass. The largest celestial object recently discovered in 2020 was UY Scuti. Their core continuously fuses and over a period of time they make many elements. Starts with hydrogen, most reactive. Last is iron, least reactive. Can stars die? Yes, they can, but don't worry, our sun isn't gonna die until 5 to 6 billion years. When it starts out, the internal fusion mentioned before reaches its last stage, that is iron, may form a black hole or a neutron star. The elements formed within the core of a supermassive star include helium, which is fused into carbon, which is fused into neon, which is fused into silicon, which is fused into iron. How are neutron stars formed? Well, to find that out, we need to look at the stages of stars. There are usually seven stages of a star, but for this video, let's look at the last two. The protostar eventually becomes a regular star, which lives for a billion years, but they will die when the core hits the iron stage. Now, the last stage of the star depends on what type of star it is. If the star is the same or smaller than a sun, then they form a white dwarf. But the star is a thousand times larger than a sun. When they collapse, they form neutron stars. The stars collapse as gravity wins the battle with radiation and fusion after iron is formed in the core, as iron cannot react to form any other element further. So all the mass is compressed by gravity to form a neutron star. Neutron stars have the highest gravitational force of any celestial object in the universe apart from black holes. Going near one would suck you in the core faster than you can react. But that's not the only problem. Neutron stars on its surface reach a million degrees Celsius compared to, to the mere 6000 degrees of the sun. The weirdest thing about neutron stars is that they are only 20 to 30 kilometers in diameter, but their mass can be more than our sun by a lot. Neutron stars also live longer than the sun. We are unsure about the exact years as no neutron stars is like we are simply because the visible universe is too young. But according to estimates, the oldest living neutron stars are 10 billion years old. Neutron stars spin extremely fast due to the presence of iron and magnetic fields just like the Earth, but bigger and stronger. It's funny how neutron stars are the smallest celestial objects, but one of the most powerful ones. They are as wide as your average city, but almost as strong as a black hole. Neutron stars are one of the ways you can study the past and predict the future. But this begs the question, can we live on a planet near a neutron star? If you want to find out more, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. That's it for this video. If you stuck for this long, thank you. Leave a comment down below, suggestions for topic. But for now, the next video is in good time. Bye.
Bye.